Hello and welcome to a video from filmedbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. It's like the fourth time I've tried to record this video. <laughs> Things keep going wrong. Uh, I'm going to talk today about now.gg. I just learned about this yesterday. Maybe you guys are familiar with it. I've heard of stuff like this before, but never really played around with it. My daughter brought this to my attention because she wanted to play the game Among Us, which is a propri proprietary game, and I'm I don't like proprietary, especially these mobile apps on any of our devices. Uh, so I kind of told her no up until now. I am a little bit lenient when she runs games in the web browser, because at least it's sandboxed then. And, you know, I run retro games that are proprietary inside a open source emulator. So I, I, there's a little bit of a gray area there. Still not thrilled with these mobile things because they all depend on services and whatever. But at least this will be in an emulator that's not even on my system. What does that mean? So you can run Android on pretty much anything. Uh, and they have Android x86, so you can run it on a desktop machine or in a virtual machine. But maybe you don't want to spin up a whole emulator, or maybe you're at a machine that you don't have uh, the, the permissions to start up an emulator, but you want to test or run something on an Android device. I'm going to show you today how to go to this website, again, now.gg, which starts up an Android emulator on a server and streams the, the display and the sound to your browser. So you don't have to install anything. It's all done in the browser. And this, from my understanding, the emulator is not even running on your machine. It's just streaming to your machine. Uh, but we're going to get to the Android underbelly of that. So I'm going to come here and real quick show you the first part of this, which is just blocking some unwanted parts of the screen. So I'm just going to go to Among Us. So I start typing that. I click here. And you'll see on the sidebar here, uh, there's some ads and stuff. I'm going to right click this. And I'm going to say uh, Block Element. And I'm going to choose this. So Brave is blocking the ads, but they're still taking up space. I'm just going to remove them just because it's kind of annoying that they're even there. Uh, whatever this is, I'm going to block this. And there's other stuff down here you could block, but it's not really in my view. So now that I have that, I'm going to uh, copy this URL, and I'm actually going to open up an incognito tab just, uh, just because uh, when you spin up one of these emulators on this website, it actually remembers your emulator, and it seems to run for a little bit. At least I know I've closed out the tab and I've gone back to it and the changes I've made are still there in the emulator. So I want to start fresh. So that's why I went to an incognito mode. So let's just give it a moment here. It's uh, going to be launching again, an emulator on a server and then streaming everything to my screen. And the whole point of this website, again, is to play games, Android games on a device without having to install that stuff on your actual hardware, which is a cool idea. Um, so it might take a moment for it to load the first time. And then when you go back to it, again, your emulator, I don't know how long it stays running for, but it will be running there and will load faster the next time. At least that's the experience I've had. And with this, unlike starting up Android on your own hardware or on your own emulator where you can have root access and full control over the system, there are restrictions on this, which I'll go over at least uh, a little bit that I've seen. Okay, the game's loading. I'll click this. It's got some touchscreen buttons, but you can also use your keyboard. Also note down here, you have your back button for Android. I did not see that at first, and I got stuck in some applications. Now, there's two ways to get to the underlying part of the Android system here. This pops up a lot. So we can click on that. It's saying it's an Android thing that they have now that if something's installed and it's not from the Google Play Store, it's going to give you a warning. If you click on that while that notification is there, you can then click on this. We can go down to Settings. And then we'll click on About, scroll down, and then we'll just click on this uh, Play Store version, Learn More. And once you do that, it opens up a web browser. Boom. Now you can start uh, installing stuff, changing stuff. We'll get into that more in a moment, but I'm going to show you another way in case that little notification bubble doesn't pop up. So let's say that I didn't get that notification, but I'm in the game here, right? There's no, there's no Home button. There's no, I can't pull down from the top to get the system settings. I'm just going to click I understand in the game. Now that the game is here, a lot of games, and oh, oh, it's checking for info. Let's go. So here's another way that you can get into. I'm going to click back, though, because, again, I want to show you if you didn't have that popping up. We'll click out of this. A lot of games, and, again, I'm in Among Us here. I can go to credits, and we click on credits. You have links to web pages here. So I can just click on any of these, and, again, it opens up the web browser. Now that you have the web browser open, if you do it either of those ways, you can go to whatever website you want. Like the best website in the world, filmsbychris.com. There's my website. But for right now, I'm going to type in Droidify. 
Did I spell that right? I didn't, but it's okay. And you can install Droidify or F-Droid or even go to a website straight with an APK for some application you want. But I'm gonna, Droidify, uh, I like a lot, so I'm gonna install that. Uh, you can scroll with your mouse wheel or you can drag. Scrolling with the mouse wheel on this emulator is a little slow. I'm just gonna choose the APK. I will download it. I will open it. I will install it. And if you don't know what Droidify is, it's a uh, package manager, if you will, uh, that includes stuff from F-Droid, but you can also, there's also other repositories installed. And I just feel it runs a lot smoother than, than F-Droid and will have give you the same packages. So in here, we can install what we want. So right away, let's say we want a terminal, right? That's one of those things we want. Now, if I type in Termux, Termux is an option. Uh, and when I tried to install it, I've tried downloading the APK directly. And when I tried to install that, it told me something like incompatible or something like that. And when I've tried to install it from here, we can, I'm not even gonna bother because I've already tried a couple times. It just doesn't install. It doesn't give me any messages, but that's okay. There's other terminal emulators. And so I'm gonna type in terminal, terminal, ah, terminal. <laughs> I can't type today. Uh, terminal, just terminal emulator. So this one will just give you an emulator. It's only 5.4 megabytes. It doesn't have all the tools that something like Termux would have. It's just going to uh, give you a terminal like you would almost like your a ABD Terminator, Android debugging, ADB <laughs> bridge, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm going to click launch, click OK, give this permission to access files. And now I have the terminal that's in this emulator. I'm, I'm, I'm at the shell for this emulator. So I can say, who am I, which I'm just an Android user. I can say, you name dash, dash A. And you can see that we're running Linux kernel and that we are using Toybox. And then you can type, try typing in BusyBox. I've gone over the difference between Toybox and Busy. BusyBox is better than Toybox, in my opinion. It has more tools, it's been around longer, and it has a better license, in my opinion. Uh, but Toybox is available with lots of tools. Uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, wget or curl, right? So if I type in curl or wget, they're not available. But you do have netcat. So I do films by Chris, Chris, uh, dot com and port 80. And it's now connected to my server on port 80. If I hit enter again, you can see a response from my server. So theoretically, you can download files with netcat this way and you can get more tools like BusyBox. Of course, you could also just do that through the web browser since we've already been in a web browser. Let's go ahead and click back and we'll click back. And in here, let's say we wanted to get to something like uh, the system settings, right? There's no drag down from the top. So the way we can get to that is we can install a launcher. Right now, I don't think there's any launcher. There's no button for a launcher, but we can type in launcher and we can pick any launcher. I'm just gonna choose this Fossey one. It's not one that I normally use, but I like other tools by this project and it's rather small. We'll click that, we'll install it, and we will then be able to launch it. And it'll flip to this view. And now I can drag from the up from the bottom and I can see all the applications installed. I can go to the web browser. I can go to the camera. If I click on the camera, it'll ask for uh, location settings, uh, but when I was on my laptop, I don't have a web camera set up on this uh, computer right now, but it did ask in the browser for permission to access my web camera. So it will actually try to access your camera. Also, I should mention, again, this is running on someone else's server. So theoretically, don't do anything private in this because you don't know what's being monitored and logged and whatnot. This is just for fun and testing, right? Uh, but now I can go into settings. And you can see there's some things that aren't in there. Like I don't know if we can get to developer mode. There's, there's probably a way to get into developer mode if you need to, but it's the options that you would normally go to aren't there. But we can get to our apps here. We can see all the apps are installed and we can access any of them. Uh, so that's great. Let's go now and let's, let's just go to Chrome and we'll just say open. And I'm going to go to filmsbychris.com forward slash games forward slash 2020. Uh, nope, 2020, let's just go up a directory. Actually, it might be 2022 that I want. Nope, maybe 2021. I'm just looking for Cyber Griffin. So this game I made years ago, uh, you can install it on desktop. It's written in, in Godot, so it's cross-platform already. But I can just go and grab this uh, APK. I can download it. I can click open. I can click install. And then I will open that game. And now my game. So this is a way you can test your Android applications in a virtual machine without having to, again, set up a virtual machine or get actual hardware. Um, and there's also a full screen button here if you want to make things full screen. There's an ad down here, which I didn't block, but we could. Uh, let's go ahead and click back. And we're back in the web browser here. 
So yeah, that's that's now we can get into whatever we want. If I could click, keep clicking back here, I'll eventually get back into Droid Pi, I think. Let's see. Well, here, yeah, and here I can again launch any uh, application I want. So I can go to Droidify and open it. And once you're in Droidify, if you go back here, you can go to install and launch any of the ones that you have installed. Um, of course, it's filtered there. So I can go back here. I can open up Droidify, which I'm already in. Uh, the terminal emulator, uh, the the launcher. But yeah, I, I thought this was really neat, a really neat concept. Again, don't do anything personal or private in it because it's not running on someone else's server. I really don't really have a use for um, running other people's games, but maybe there's some other applications I want to test. I don't want to set up a virtual machine. I just I just want to open up a web browser and test it like this. Theoretically, I could do that. As you can see, it's very simple. Uh, Among Us was a great example, but a lot of a lot of games will probably have some sort of uh, credit option, right? So we went to credits and under credits, we just clicked on one of the links and it opened up a web browser. I've done this on kiosks before running Android where I was able to get into a web browser by clicking on a link that like that or selecting text and saying, uh, once you highlight text on an Android device, one of the options you know, has copy, uh, cut, and then usually it search the web and that will open up a web browser. Once you get to the web browser, you can do so much on a system. Again, we don't have root on this. You're probably not gonna get root on this. Um, developer mode, you might be able to somehow, but you could definitely get into a terminal. There's a lot of stuff you can do in there. You can install whatever APKs you want with uh, exceptions. Like I said, when I went to try to do Termux. So again, I'm in here for me to get back. Uh, if I click, keep clicking back, it's not gonna go anywhere, I think. So to get back into my stuff, I'll click on this. And now I can go, let's see. You just gotta be, think about how can I get to, uh, let's see, settings. Or once I'm in here, I guess I can go to, uh, actually, let's just go to downloads. That's what we want. Back, boom, downloads. I can click on Droidify again. I'll just click update and open. And now we're back in here and we can launch our home screen, our launcher. So yeah, so once you get back in the game, that's a way to do that. But I hope you found this useful. Look, look, and then they use pure uh, uh, APK Pure, open anyway, which is a place where you can install lots of other applications. It's where they're installing stuff from too. I'm gonna get ads in here, I guess. It's not something I use a lot. I hope you found this useful. Uh, I It's something that I probably won't use all the time, but if I need to quickly um, test something out on Android and I don't wanna do it on actual hardware and I don't wanna set up my own uh, emulation virtual machine, now.gg. Uh, do you know of other sites like this? I'm sure there's probably other ones. Uh, if so, comment uh, below. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.